for words here. That was the back door of the century. That was the back door of the year. Oh my goodness, he actually caught it! There's no way! There's no way he just did that! Oh my god! That's insane! It's pretty okay, but I'm excited to see the speed opening for Renegade going up with Baron. Actually, he won't come in at that and instantly gets the five touch and blast it out of the game. And that's going to be two down, and that's going to be another one from Sai Zero Kilo. And he, he, they made one mistake. Here comes the retaliation. He will get again focused down, but it's so low. Can he, can he survive this? He will try to survive. Oh! That it gets a little easier overall. But yeah, this is generally what we were expecting here. Foster going into mid lane. Whoa, export. Hello, Warbringer. Coming in straight from the back. H2O does realize this very quickly and it does slow down their reach. However, this Faraga armor will break. And in the meantime, Warbringer is going to keep harassing us. Wait a minute. This is not a side lane export. This is a straight up tank export. Let's go, tank export. Aaron now taking quite a bit of damage here. Car yeah, yeah, yeah. Get some good hits so far, but it did slow down this Claude. Claude still level 1. Yep, and as of now here, Sumeo on the side here is going to get harassed with Ren and G. And surprise, surprise, Ren and G is actually taking a lot of damage on the side lane, so this is not so good. Meanwhile, Warbringer, what is this? The tank export. He's just farming jungle. He's going to try and kill H2O. Is he going to go for dive here? Will the jungle be stolen? No, it's not. Warbringer will be losing out of Furga Armor, but Aaron is there to provide us his Kara. He's going to be providing us as well. Flickers away. He's going to be A okay. Aaron going for a flicker but he's got a little bit more chip damage, but the sustains from Asgard will give them the enough mobility to go in for the punish. That's so interesting. That's so interesting. Warbringer on a concussive blast export has slowed down Team, uh, team Team's main carry H2O on this Claude just enough. It does mean that Kamsa Papa will have a level advantage over him for now, but that could easily change off the next fight. Gathor getting a good taunt here as Ja- Oh no. Pippin hands. Pippin hands. You know that it was going to happen, and yet it still occurred. H2O now on the run. He can't seem to be doing anything. Are they going to go for the full on dive? Doesn't look like it just yet, but Spartanker, oh, he no. wants it. He wants it real bad. And even Vengeance has been popped. Play Missile should be there, but this dive is is successful for Serial Killer, but Team Team not gonna let it go just like that. Here comes Aaron. He's already using the Doctor. He's gonna take out Warbringer when it comes to Papa. He's on the run now. Does he have Quad Shadows? It should be coming up as as Gold. Going to be using the Holy Healing to try and close the distance. Oh no, come to Papa. He's reviewed himself. JP is thinking about going for a contest, but unfortunately he will respect that. A little bit out over commitment here, but Serial Killer with that aggressive dive managing to get the kill. However, economy-wise, Team Team, they are still leading. How is this possible? Well, I mean, they, remember, whenever you're disrupting your opponents, you are also losing out in terms of how much gold they're sharing from the lane itself. And not to mention just hard farming in general. Like, Team Team has very efficient. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing it again! This is oh, no. No. oh no! Oh no! He's gonna do it again! But now even Aaron and Asgard, they're tired of this. Last inside it comes out. Feather and Aaron strike on top of Aaron right now. This could be a lot of damage. The brilliance has already come out. Renage, he's tired of this. He's coming to help them, and he takes out Kara easily with the third hit of Jiku. This, this is actually slowing down the, the farm on the cloud. It's just probably so much problems here. Warbringer has taken a very, very interesting approach on invades, and I've never seen this before. I'm liking it. it. I love it. I love it. It's fun. This is fun. But now, as you can see, that ja, he's just chilling around the turtle area. He's giving that information. Team Team's making the call. Okay, we don't need to touch this right now. They've got it. They have Pryo. There's no way we get on it. h roll just hit level 5. We catch up to come to Papa, get to about the same levels, and we'll contest the next fight. Oh, Warbringer with this tank expo. He's going to get chipped away, but that's what he's expecting here. We've, we've talked about how annoying x is here. Arguably, it is favorable on the tank roll. He's just demonstrated to us that it is very possible. And it's very, very frustrating. Oh, no. Ooh. Okay, oh, okay, 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 
okay. Luckily, nobody tried to open the map there. That would have been spelled a lot of doom for them. But Aaron continuing to try to be aggressive on this loss, making sure he's keeping tabs of all the members from Serial Killer just to make sure the side lanes don't get affected too much by it. Yeah, because see, Warbringer is going to try and isolate the fight here, resets the cramp, oh. but the retribution will be secured instead from H2O. And finally, he times it at the last tick of health. So that's going to be a smart play. Meanwhile, Smart Tanker is going to have a little bit of problem here with the Jawhead. So that's going to be a little bit of a wet noodle fight, but hopefully that's going to be A-OK. -okay. Meanwhile, Aeron is going to get poked off here. Come to Baba, going for the damage as well. The Feather Asher is going to miss the mark, but it's going to be enough damage to finish him off. The Feather Asher is going to flush him off, but Asgard won't disengage with the Wind Breath. H2O in position, looking for the... Uh, I would say the massive out there. Unfortunately, not going to commit to this, and Spartanker... Uh, surprise, surprise, he's actually doing pretty okay. Forcing the jaw hit down bottom is actually going according to their plan. I mean, he has vengeance as well. The only way Spar Tanker dies here is if he accidentally gets ejected back into the turret and takes way too many hits. But however, I will say that I don't think even Come to Papa was expecting Warbringer to bring down S God that low. Like, you can clearly visibly see him, like, wait a minute, I could have actually gotten a double kill. There. Yep, agreed. Spar Tanker just uh, trying to be a meat shield. He's gonna try and open up the Man, they don't exactly have damage yet. They need H2O to join this fight with the Blazing Duet. He's got a hyper. They're thinking about fire, but it seems like Team Team, they are a little bit afraid uh, of the Trying to set up the fates here. JP is a little bit afraid to go in for the contest. Looks like they will respect this and back out of this fight. The turtle is going to be the bigger picture coming from Team Team. Now, remember, Team Team, at this point of time, their dedicated engagers are on the opposite side of the map. Renge is going to keep trying to split. Uh, and that just puts <laughs> down. <laughs> Look at Wallbringer. Whoa, oh, here comes the best of one. Doesn't seem to connect. Blazing Duet not gonna be available yet. But Smart Tanker stops him in this strike. The Blazing Duet a little bit late to the party, and he won't get punished here. As Sumail goes into the back lines, goes in for the finish, and that's gonna be Team D completely backed out. What a catch coming from Smart Tanker, stopping the Blazing Duet. In time. That was a huge play, and they net themselves three kills to one. However, they did lose one turret in the process. Renegade continues the split push here. Come to Papa, should be able to get mid, but here comes Renegade. If he can get a really good hit, uh oh. Here, Hit Jeep and don't weigh in the drag tower under the tower and come to Papa. Oh, all these one HP, get out of there, my friend. You need to live in Renegade. Doesn't have the movement speed to catch on up. He just got a Jeep up as well. That is such a feels bad moment. Oh, come to Papa was so fortunate he had the turtle buff shield because of that. He was able to keep out alive. And meanwhile, Warbringer already flexing the fact that he does have an early immortality here. And at this point in the game here, this Xbox is going to get even, even more annoying. <laughs> He has concussive blast on top of everything hey, else. Like, it's out. It really is working out, which is shocking. <laughs> but looking down towards bottom side, you can already say that Sumail is taking his time up against uh, Jawhead for now. But how long is this going to work? Because Jawhead eventually will need to start participating in these bigger team fights. Yep, and speaking of the team fights here, Warbringer going to be setting up here. Come to Baba, jumping the back lines. He's going to take a jab and error. Feather Ezra is there to try and cut the mob, and they are going to be full disengaged coming from Team Team. Warbringer continues. Continue to slow them with the breaths here, but the Blazing Duet finally pops up. They take down Kaptu Baba. This is an overcommitment, but oh. insanity on top of that is going to take down Giant. But Renna J is there, but that is going to be the first downfall for this x but will he be able to respond? No, he will not. But the re engage oh, connection God. coming from Serial Killer is just insane. Spot Tankers with the save. It looks like they want to try and challenge H2O. Do they want to go fight this here? The Tar comes in almost connecting, so that's going to be missing the Baba Sumail here. Also known as Dominus with the card is starting to hurt. Yeah, I mean, he just purchased the Holy Crystal as well, so now he's really going to start doing some work. If he gets the Twin Blades as well, that's just going to give him some extra damage. But for now, he's not much of a threat other than his ultimate. He still is required to depend on his teammates for that raw piece of damage. Here comes Kanta Papa. He's so aggressive in front of Eren, and as well as Espa, trying to bait out somebody from Team Team to make a move. Yep, Fartanger looking for the taunt. Oh, did not connect. The ejector is going to disengage him here, but he does have the vengeance. That's going to be A-OK, -okay, but the turtle will be secure. But the re-engage from Spartanger catches off as gone. But Zero Killer says we do not want to overcommit here. The idea is that, but Team Team, they are backing out of this fight. Renner J going to be poking under the armor. Is it going to be a but Warbringer is going to respect this. So that's going to be a, a little bit of a tussle, but Team Team seems like they are 
having a very clear picture that they need to drag this game long enough it. for a Papa to kind of lose out his team. I mean, that's the way these kind of, you know, MPL, dra MPL level drafts is fail-safe. ways that actually play around your opponents here. I do like the fact that Renegade didn't fully commit no, no, onto this export. Even man. though it was pretty valued, so he had that ultimate, he literally had Ay, everything. Ba. But now, Warbringer, he's gonna get flickered on over. If you look down on bottom oh, side, you can see that they are now Team Team is playing it's around right. Renegade because he has the fattest lead, and he can really dictate the pace of the fight. Agree here, Renegade, 4-1-1. One, one. He's doing the Damage, they have to be worried about this show, and it seems like they need to figure out a way to shut him down. Because come to Papa, you know, he may be a strong force coming from Zero Killer, but in the eyes of Rene J, he might actually get one shot. Mm, yeah, so he has to keep that in mind. An early immortality on to Warbringer. I'm very curious to see what else he's going to build on himself. It could be more tank items, or it could just get like one more axe. Really to get, uh, Let's uh, actually for extra sustainability. It's kind of hard to say which direction Warbringer wants to go. Well, in this case here, you know, I would say Warbringer and Sumail are on the Kaja. They can they can kind of mix up their items later in the mid stage of the game, just because Warbringer does scale a little bit harder than the Kaja in the late stage game. So. Hopefully, they will sync up in terms of the tanking items here. Is Warbringer going to go full head tank? Or is it going to be a half-half between both Kaja? But now, he's going to burn his Spirit Armor, but he gets caught out. The Wave Dragon is there. Renegade is going to finish off with a flicker. Oh, no connection whatsoever. And that's the Defender Ash Trying to zone the bomb. Ash is going to be the first one to fall. Nurox comes in with Brilliance, trying to do a little bit of damage, but he's caught up on the tower. He's taking a little bit too much, but he ejected from Jeffy. Oh, no. He sends him to his death. Team, team. They are punished, getting punished. And Sumail with the damage. Fine judgment to top it all off. That's gonna be three down. Renegade getting a bit cheeky here. He might be out of position. H2 O with the blazing duet. But oh no! Power, he walks into the wrong side, and Renegade will be the one that catches him. But now another way of the dragon coming from Renegade. Spartan is tanky enough to tank this way through. But Renegade he's soaking all the feather. But will he eventually take the uh, the Gato Kata, But Warbringer is looking to go for the finish. Sumail will save the day with an aggressive flicker. Take out one, a double kill for. Kaja, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Serial Killer are doing it. They're taking down Team Team. Oh my goodness, both sides are not giving up. They are relentless. Whenever you see a train kill, you can see, you can almost literally see their blood pumping. Warbringer is now in a very dangerous situation. Oh no, the Brilliant is down. The Brilliant goes down instantaneously as the help of Ja is there. Oh my goodness, this Ja continues to put pressure. Despite being wanted for, despite him okay, Papa, what's that like, guys? hold on to the bottom blade, there is still relevance in this hero. Very, very quick reactions. You're coming from Team Team to respond, knowing that Serial Killer is immediately tapping on the Lord. And any decision other than rushing to that deck, they might have just lost the Lord right then. And then. So great oh. response coming from Team Team. If there is a very big fight for H2O, he did the wins of nature. So that means he's not going to be able to take any physical damage for a time being once activated, which is very useful, especially against Come to Papa. Mm -hmm. Sumail here trying to bait some sort of reaction. His jaw has pretty much revealed itself down bottom, but H2O is still trying to bait with this Lord. And uh, no response yet coming from Serial Killer here. Warbringer is going to face check some of those brushes, but he needs to be careful that he does not have those mortality up. So he's going to be the calm before the storm, but Team Team, they will still have control over that Lord. However, little did they know, Renegade is actually off the radar up top. So Serial Killer, if they know this here, they can loop for a Base check is with Warbringer. He's gonna get focused down. He's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Last insanity. Used to disengage and he's gonna back out completely. Come to Papa. Oh, he's gonna go for a couple pokes here, but Aaron from behind. He's looking for the darkening combo, but he's waiting for the right moment to strike. And Serial Killer is not giving to them. However, Spartanger, he's doing a great reaction there. But the Lord, very, very quick damage here. Not enough to go in for the fight. And that's gonna be the Defy Judgment coming in to stop the Master Robot. And another regain coming from Spartanger to cut them out. In track. But where's the follow? Swatanka is super tanky. Where's the damage? They need the blazing duet, but Zero Killer says we do not need to commit into this fight. Ooh, that was a little sash. I'm not gonna lie. Jawhead 
using his unstoppable force on all people it is going to be on Sumail who still has the divine judgment ensuring the kill and pulling him away from his team oh he's oh, actually gets hit by the fire stakes kind of interesting for Raga armor should be breaking off of the auto attacks here uh purple buff again goes to come to papa no real contestion especially since the positioning of h wasn't close enough to get him to uh get him in range of retribution that's a very very rough game here coming from serial killer because team team has been waiting for the moment here it's 14 minutes past the game h2o despite not having kills is starting to hurt with this blaze into it and like you mentioned as well with the winds of nature hunt him down mm -hmm. i mean at this point, Tanker really needs to be able to time that taunt to cancel that blazing duet no matter what place, what time, because H2O, he is going to start shredding once he has that max stacks. But let's see how this is going to play out. Smart Tanker goes to try and open the map, but unfortunately he gets caught by all three, uses the Sky Guardian's avatar to get on out of there. Great response from Smart Tanker. Yeah, that's going to be a little <laughs> impression here. They, they are still getting uh, attacked from all sides with this creep wave. Top side is pretty okay, but bottom side seems to be the opening for Red and Jade going for Bush Baron. Actually, Overcommitted at that and instantly gets the fine judgment and blasted out of the game. And that's gonna be two down, and that's gonna be another one from Size Zero Kilo. And team team, they made one mistake. Here comes the retaliation. H2O gonna get focused down, but they're so low. Can they, can they survive this here? H2O trying to survive. Oh, but is a, but unfortunately, not gonna be enough. And he will get focused down while that is actually happening. Red and Jay going for the rats here. Goes for the way of the dragon, takes down the Kaja, but he is gonna try to finish up the game. He's sidestepping his way through, and somehow he does have the damage. Damage goes again. Very greedy no. approach. What is this? No way! No, no way! way. No oh way. Ran a J! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He actually got it! There's no way! Oh my There's no, no way! He just did yeah. that! Oh my god! That's insane! Oh, oh wait! I need a moment. I need a moment. I need a moment. How? How? How did that happen? I'm seeing basic. I'm seeing the drawing in my position. How did that happen? That's not right. That's not right. They mi they missed it. They missed the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame him here because Rana J. He understands he has the damage. He has the blade of despair, and the moment the crystal drops below 50 health, he's gonna hit even harder. No way! I, 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 oh my goodness! That, that was that seemed like a great comeback moment for Serial Killer. Okay, first of all, first of all, if Rena J was at full HP and didn't take so much damage from both the, uh, both the crystal and the turret when he was killing Kaja, I would be a little bit more confident. He was one HP, and he one HP. That. Ha, that, that, that's some amazing game sense. Well done to Team Team from the Philippines. Holy cow! Wow! They, they've done the impossible. That's a one a once in a lifetime opportunity. Never that energy that's just pulled off. I, 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 I am such I am at a loss for words here. That was the back door of the century. That was the back door of the year. Give the man an award. That that is a <laughs> boy. <laughs>